A longtime DFL lawmaker from the North Metro has a new role in St. Paul this session. On Tuesday, Melissa Hortman was elected minority leader of the House of Representatives. CTN's Jordan Ryland sat down with Hortman this week and has more on her new leadership post. I think what voters are looking for is what I've always been for, is working across the center aisle to get things done. Born and raised in the North Metro, Representative Melissa Hortman is a Brooklyn Park attorney and the new House Minority Leader. This position is really about doing a lot of work. The job of the Minority Leader is uh, first and foremost to help govern and improve the lives of Minnesotans, but second is to get Democrats in the majority in 2018. Hortman will continue to focus on affordable early childhood education opportunities, lessening student debt by holding down college tuition, and creating jobs and increasing wages for working families. I think it's really important that we not have haves and have nots in the state of Minnesota. So when I was growing up in the North Metro area, we watched the South Metro get everything. You know, they have the airport, they have the highway infrastructure, they have all this commercial and industrial property. So their property taxes were lower, their schools were funded better, they had all sorts of more course offerings than kids in the North Metro. And it's the same problem in greater Minnesota. So we need to make sure that we equalize opportunities for all the areas of the state. Hortman was sworn into office earlier this week and says she is ready to move Minnesota forward. I think our job at the legislature is to improve Minnesotans' lives where we can. Reporting for CTN Community Update, I'm Jordan Rylance. Hortman has been instrumental in securing funding for a third lane on Highway 10, the extension of Highway 610, and repairs to the Coon Rapids Dam. In addition to Hortman, in District 36B, three other people represent Coon Rapids in the State House of Representatives. Republican Peggy Scott in District 35B, Republican Mark Uglum in District 36A, and DFLer Aaron Kogel in District 37A. As for the State Senate, we have three representatives, Republican Jim Abler in District 35, DFLer John Hoffman in District 36, and DFLer Jerry Newton in District 37. The current legislative session is scheduled to end on May 22nd.